Hey everyone, this is Terry from Technique Tuesday, and I'm excited to show you our newest Greenhouse Society stamp set. This is our set for November 2013. This is the Berry set. This stamp set consists of four clear stamps on a 3 by 4 inch storage sheet. The largest of the stamps in this set is the branch. The branch has some little mounds to look like snow, and it's also got berries hanging off of it. When you stamp the stamp, be sure to stamp it so that the mounds are facing upright so that it looks like the snow is sitting on the branch rather than hanging off of it and also that the berries are hanging down from the branch rather than sticking straight up. In addition to the branch, there are three sentiment stamps. These sentiments are perfect to use on either a Christmas card or on any card to send a special friend or relative during the winter. Now that I've shown you what the stamp set looks like, I'd like to show you how I created the panel on the middle of this card that I made with the set. So let's get started. The first thing I did was I cut the rectangle from craft colored cardstock using our story card DIY steel die. We have a whole collection of steel dies that are made to work with pocket pages. This one just happens to work with a pocket style scrapbook page, but it also is a great element to use on any card or paper crafting project. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the branch onto this panel. Now I'm going to use a really dark brown ink and I'm going to tap the ink pad onto the stamp. Now you'll notice I'm tapping it rather than pressing the stamp into the ink. That's because sometimes when I press my stamp into my ink pad, I flood my stamps with too much ink. So I find I just get a little better ink coverage if I tap the ink pad onto it rather than tap it into the ink pad. Now that my stamp's covered, I'm going to stamp the branch once onto the panel. And you'll notice I'm letting the branch go a little off the panel as I stamp it. That's because I don't need the whole branch to show. A little bit goes a long way. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp the branch one more time. This time, rather than re-inking the stamp, I'm going to just use the ink that's left over on it, so I'll have a lighter color of brown. So as I stamp it, I'm going to stamp it right onto the panel. I'm going to be really careful to not stamp right where I stamped originally. I'm just going to kind of stamp it a little bit to the sides. It'll give the panel kind of a cool shadow effect. Kind of cool, right? Now it's time to give a little bit of embellishing to the panel. I'm going to use my trusty tools, a couple of colored pencils, a white one and a red one, to add a little extra color. So I'm not a great colorer, so all I'm going to do is just scribble a little bit of white into all the parts where the mounds appear, so where all the snow is. And I'm just going to keep doing that. And then I'm going to add some red. Each berry has just a little bit of red with that color red pencil. If you're not a great color, something you may want to try is using glitter glue to color in the berries in the snow. Use a white glitter glue to color in the snow and a red glitter glue to color in the red berries. You can also use pearls or gems on the berries, so that would give it a really pretty blingified look. I think I like the end results here. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a sentiment to my panel. Really, any of the sentiments from this stamp set would work swell on this.
And there you have it. To learn more about our Greenhouse Society, check out techmeettuesday.com. We release a new stamp set every month as part of the Greenhouse Society. Thank you for joining us today.